everybody welcome to another episode of it's red anyway we're about to make some chunky chicken soup well it has vegetables and all that and well you'll see in a second but right now i have my um boneless chicken thighs you can use bone in chicken thigh or um uh, chicken breast if you feel i just feel like the chicken thighs hold more flavor and they're more tender so i have those boiling over here and then in this pan here we're going to be um sauteing up the veggies a little bit so i'm gonna take some i'm feeling like medium and i'm gonna take some butter which i'm using plant butter you can use whatever butter you want or you can also use some uh, canola I meant vegetable not vegetable oh gosh um uh, 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 uh what is it called extra virgin olive oil my bad but I'm gonna use both so I'm gonna go ahead and put like a tablespoon of butter mm, maybe like two tablespoons of butter and a little bit of oil which is the olive oil you don't have to use both if you prefer to just use one or the other that is perfectly fine so yep i just cleaned my chicken and you know took all the fat or whatever off i didn't like and i just put it in some water seasoned it up a bit and brought it to a boil okay. so let's add our veggies what the veggies that i'm going to be using which i just cut up and cleaned is some onions celery and um carrots so we're just gonna add those I love a lot of veggies in my soup and plus it's a chunky vegetable soup but it does have chicken in it too um also i'm gonna be putting some other stuff in it too but i love my soup on the chunkier side this is a more um healthier option soup also a more uh low fat soup so what I'm going to do is season this up a little. So I'm going to go ahead and use some garlic powder. Some pepper, which I can't find my other one for this. You just have to do... I love a lot of pepper, although this is barely coming out. I need to find the other ones, that's fine. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the chicken bouillon. I'm just gonna use like a teaspoon of that for now. We're just gonna saute these up a little bit before we um oh I'm making a whole mess but before we um put our liquids in so I'm gonna go ahead and let this simmer a little bit saute a little bit and we'll be right back okay y'all so I'm back as you can see, it came up to a good little simmer. Um, why I do this is because it helps to bring out the flavors in the veggies. And it helps them to cook a little bit better to me, in my opinion. So now we're going to go in with our liquids. 
Um, I'm going to be adding in some bone broth. Some bone broth, which is actually pretty good for your digestive system. Um, I like to use it. I do have a little bit of some digestive issues, so this really helps to heal your digestive system. So I'm going to go ahead in with the rest of this, which is about a cup in here. Um, and then I'm going to go in with some water, which is going to be about, I'm going to add about two cups of water. And then I'm gonna go in with at least one more cup of that bone broth. Making sure you guys can see it. And I would say you don't have to use bone broth. You can use chicken broth, beef broth, whatever broth you like. Um, I just like to go for what I like and what I feel is, you know, better for me and my family. Okay, so we're going to also add, let me put this water off. We're going to also be adding in a can of chickpeas, which I'm going to rinse these. I just rinse. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that. And I do let me cut this one out. I do want to add some of the broth from the chicken in, but I think I'm gonna do that after the chicken cook a little more for me. It's been cooking for a good uh, 15, 20 minutes now, but I need it to cook a little bit more. So we're going to bring this to a boil. I think I'm going to add like maybe a cup more of liquids. I was trying to wait on this, so I might just wait on the chicken broth from the chicken because this is um, fresh chicken broth. So I'll probably just wait on that, but we're going to bring this to a simmer, a boil and then a simmer. So that the chickpeas can t get tender and so can the um, veggies. So we'll be back. Okay, you guys. So as you can see, it, it came to a boil. So I'm just going to add in some fresh parsley in there that I just chopped and cleaned. And then I'm just going to go ahead and mix this up. The chicken is still over there boiling. So I'm just going to mix this up and then I'm going to lower the heat to a simmer. Um, and we'll be back once it's time to add the chicken. So yeah, I'm just going to lower this till about a one. And I'm going to put the top on it and we'll be right back. Okay, so, so far the chicken is quite tender enough for me to chop it up. So I'm just going to go ahead. I mean, you can shred it as well. Doesn't matter. But I just, I'm just going to maybe shred it a little bit. But yeah, it's like tender enough to be shredded. So I'm just going to shred all of my meat. And then as soon as it's shredded, I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. I hope you guys can see it good. So what I'm going to do is the chicken, I've already shredded. 
So we're gonna add the chicken last. And as you can see, my veggies are getting translucent. I mean, they're actually coming to a tender state, but they still have some time to cook. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add that broth from the chicken I boiled. And we're gonna check to see if it needs more seasoning. I'm gonna check it. Hmm, it's pretty good, but I'm gonna add more seasoning. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that chicken bouillon once again. Let me make sure you guys can really see it. I hope. So I'm gonna go in with like maybe two or three more tablespoons. I mean, teaspoons is teaspoons. And then I'm going to mix that and I'm going to taste it once again. Okay, so, so far I like it, but I'm going to add one more teaspoon. It's not salty, you guys. Not at all. So I'm just add one more teaspoon of that and a little bit of the garlic seasoning and I'm gonna let these cook a little bit more and then we're gonna add the chicken after about I'm gonna give it a little bit more time maybe about 15 to 20 more minutes to simmer and get um, translucent and tender and then we'll be right back okay you guys i'm back so as you can see the veggies are nice and translucent i don't want them too soft so they're actually just right i'm gonna go ahead and add in the meat the meat was already done um but i'm just gonna add it now And as you can see, it's a nice, thick, homemade chicken soup without the starch. So it's a more healthier option. So this is how it looks. As you can see, it's nice and chunky and full. I love that every bite has some of everything. And I'm going to let this continue to simmer on low now for a good five more minutes. And then I'm going to cut it off. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. I hope you guys try this recipe out. Let me know in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.